Greetings, YouTube. So my new camera came in, and I thought I would test it out on an old recipe I found to make glow-in-the-dark powder from oyster shells. All right, let's begin. First, you'll need some oyster shells. You can find them at any well-stocked feed store. Next, you're going to need a mortar and pestle. We'll be using this to grind together our compounds. You'll need something to sift the oyster shells with a small borosilicate culture tube, something to hold the culture tube that can withstand a lot of heat. I'm using a thermometer holder, a spatula, and last but not least, some sulfur powder. All right, so now you know what everything is. Let's clear off our workspace, and I'll give you a little bit of a closer look at the tube so you can get an idea of its size. Alright, so we're going to grab the sifter. This is just a plain powdered sugar sifter, nothing special. And we're going to pour in our shells. Okay, so you'll want to start to sift this as best you can. You can shake it, though I find that makes a mess. Uh, I found the easiest way to do it is just to run my hands through it. Doesn't take a lot, and that's probably just about good enough. Alright, so now we have some basically powdered oyster shells. So now we're going to want to pour some of our oyster shell powder into our mortar. Okay, that looks to be good. We'll just pour the excess on this plastic top here and put it aside. Okay, so here we are with our compound. I've got a little too much, so we're going to pour a little bit of it out, and I'll give you a close-up to give you an idea of how much I've got. As you can see, there's not a lot. Okay, so let's add the sulfur. You'll want to put in twice as much sulfur as you have shells. Now I'm not going to weigh this out, but I'm just going to eyeball it. But if you want to weigh it, it's twice the mass. Okay, so now we're going to grind this together. And this takes some time. It took me at least 10-15 minutes and I'll save you the boredom and show you what it looks like when it's done. Alright, so grab a funnel and grab your glass tube, place your funnel in the tube and we're going to pour in about probably one to two grams. We don't want to fill it up to the top. Okay, tap it down, and that will work. All right, so now we want to load it in to whatever we're going to use to hold it. Okay, and now I have it mounted in my fume hood on a stand. So. I'm going to begin heating it, and to heat it I'm using just a plain butane torch that you can find in a uh, any plumbing section uh, that they use to heat up a copper pipe to solder it. So at first you'll see the sulfur melting, and then here in a little while it'll start burning off.
Now this needs to be heated red hot for about 10 minutes. Um, I won't make you wait the entire time and uh, here in a bit we'll skip ahead. Try to heat it as evenly as possible. I found that using a torch isn't very efficient. It would probably be better uh, to build a small little furnace of some t sort using those fire bricks and I may try that in the future but this does work now this does let off a lot of gases too that are probably not that great for you so make sure if you're not doing it in the fume hood you're at least doing it outside okay so let's go ahead and skip ahead you'll notice that the glass file has melted a little bit and has sagged due to gravity it, not to worry this is not a problem you'll notice that it's red hot and you want to try to keep it as red hot for the entire 10 minutes alright that's looking pretty good we want to let this cool now and after it cools here's the finished product and now we just want to get the compound out I didn't find it very difficult you could just tap it on to the table and most of it came out okay so let's get a close-up there we go and now you'll need to grab your UV flashlight and hit the lights and we can test it Now my new camera, which is much more expensive than my old camera, for whatever reason doesn't pick this up, as you can see. However, it's actually much brighter and lasts a lot longer than the zinc powder I made in a previous video. But toying around with the settings, I couldn't figure it out um, how to get it. and. I just left it as is so you have to take my word for it but it is much brighter and it does last a lot longer so give this a try anyway thanks for watching uh, please rate my videos and also if you like please subscribe thanks for your time